Region baseball teams take center stage as we continue to dive into tournament season for the summer. The East Division teams meeting at Jack Williams Stadium to continue the quarterfinals of their championship tourney. Two more games with a trip to state qualifying games on the line. The evening shift begins with Wapton Post 20, the two seed battling the seven seeded Fargo Jets. Bottom of the first two, run first two runners reach for Wapton, but that's when Quinn Miller shows off the glove at third, tags the bag for one and a dart to first for two. We got a double play, but Wapton wanted the lead and they get it later in the inning. Jaden King sends a blooper to center, drops in for a knock. Skyler Blado hustles home to put post 20 up one nothing on the RBI single. Wapton dropped five runs on the Jets in the second inning, capped off by a Cooper Klosterman two run single that just gets past the shortstop. Post 20 takes a six nothing lead at the time and they're going to hold that the rest of the way. Wapton moving on with a shutout victory. The nightcap at the Jack features the five seated Kindred Vikings and the four seated Fargo Post 2 Bombers. Picking up in the second, Kindred at the plate seeking the lead. Stanley Belaski lines a ball the other way to right. Kylan Swenson has the wheels turning on his way home. The Vikings have the 1 0 lead on Belaski's RBI double. Kindred takes a 2 0 lead to the bottom of the second. Bombers looking to respond on the safety squeeze. But Jack McDonald gets it to Bryce Whipple for the out at home. Vikings maintain their advantage. Kendrick takes that big play and turns it into another run. A wild pitch in the third scores Mason Almaris for a 3 0 lead. Almaris, I should say. Bombers had a tough time scoring early, but the defense was on point. Ball popped up into foul territory. Kellen Doherty. Looking for it, makes the dive for a tough catch. There it is. Kindred in control, though, reaching the semis with a 4-0 victory of their own. Here's a look at the main bracket for the East Division right now. Wapton and West Fargo set to meet in the first semifinal tomorrow. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket, it's the Valley City Royals pulling off the biggest upset of this tournament so far. The ninth-seeded squad defeating the top-seed Devils Lake earlier this afternoon.